In this interview, I have some questions related to Dark Funeral's career and others related mm -hmm. to his new album, We Are the Apocalypse. Yeah. And my first question is, how was the composition and recording process of We Are the Apocalypse and how long did it last? I, I stopped writing uh, music for this record about four years ago. Uh, you know, on and off when I came up with ideas, I recorded some ideas, you know, in, in my home studio. Uh, but it didn't take until uh, until uh, basically the pandemic hit the world when when we start uh, or when I start focusing on writing actual songs, you know, start putting things together. So, but all, all in all, four years. And then we spent, I think, it was about six weeks in the studio together with Felix Tordendal from Nashoga uh, and Stockholm. Okay, and in all the Dark Funeral albums, do the main or initial ideas always start with you, or does the creative process of the band vary from one album to another? Uh, um, uh, I've been writing uh, pretty much all the music uh, since, since a long time back. I've had uh, a small contributor with some stuff, but that's, uh, that's a couple of records ago. So the last two records, I've been writing the music and uh, arranging everything, and then... Uh, Hell, I might have been writing most of the lyrics and um, obviously vocals. So that, that's how we worked. Uh, me and Hell, I might have worked together for the last, at, at least for the last two records uh, since it came into the band. And that, that works really good, I think. And um, what do you consider to be the best Dark Funeral album or the album with which you are happiest? Yeah, well, naturally, I, I feel that the new record is, is uh, the best, you know. <laughs> you can see that mm. every record is you know, a testament of its time. So, you know, this record is showing where I am in life, you know, what I'm, you know, where my influences are at this point of time. That, that's always, uh, you know, like that for, for every record. So obviously, you know, when you listen to the new record, that's where I am in life at this point. And uh, that's where my, my influences and where my dark world lies. Okay. And um, what is your opinion about the current black metal scene? Do you listen to symphonic black metal bands or depressive or national socialist black metal? To be honest, I, I haven't been listening to much uh, black metal at all recently. So, I mean, I, I listen to some bands there and there, but uh, most of the time I, I still, you know, listen to the bands that I've always listened to, you know, since I grew up, since I was younger. Mm. I listen to lots of, uh, you know, since, since I played black metal myself. Of course, I, I think I, I do everything I can to support the scene. But I think we do a lot uh, just by being our funeral. Uh, but musically, uh, you know, since this is what I do, this is what I, the type of music I write, it's not, the, you know, exactly that type of music I want to listen to when, when I want to relax, if you know what I mean. And um, what place does Satanist occupy in your life today? Because on the internet you can find that when you were a teenager, you followed the bass version of Satanist. Are you still a follower of this? Well, I, I never consider myself a follower, you know. Mm. I've, I've been influenced uh, by by many, many things, you know. Lave was, I had a good contact with his wife and, and a lot of, uh, you know, inner circle members, and I still do. And uh, so I had, a, I had a good connection to them ever since I was maybe 18 years old or something like that. But, but I find the influence from, you know, I, I've been in contact with people from Temple of Seth and, and, and lots of other organizations. So what I mean is like, I, I never really followed any specific organization in that sense. Always, you know, been influenced by, you know, the thing I picked out the best from, from a lot of uh, philosophies uh, and organization and, and kind of formed my own identity, if you will, uh, from there. I never find myself just a follower. I'm more of a leader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. My next question is, why did Dark Funera have so many lineup changes throughout you, your career? Because the truth is, was many, but why are there so many changes? And how do you feel with the current formation of Dark Funera? There, there's many, many different reasons. Uh, I mean, some some people felt like yes, they didn't want to tour anymore. Some other had a lot of personal problems that just didn't work out with the band, and some others, you know, just felt like they done their share of of the same band. You know, there is lots of different reasons. But uh, I mean, for for me, it's always been like you know, I always gotta you know follow my passion. You know, whatever happens around me is. Uh, 
I can't control that in that way. Uh, you know, I got to do what I got to do, and whatever happens, you know, happens. So, you know, whoever want to follow me, join me, fine, you know. But if you want to take a different tone in life, I, I won't see you doing that. You know, it's just all free will, you know. But, uh, but I'm kind of, you know, dedicated and, and passionate about what I'm doing. That's why I just kept going. Okay. Um, what does the cover and title of this album, We Are the Apocalypse, represent? Uh, there's many reasons. For, for, for one, I would say Helimar can explain so from the lyrical point of the song. Uh, but just to make a, a general explanation, when, when we were done writing the whole record, uh, and the whole vibe it gave, it was, gave a really epic, epic feel, and very cinematic feel, you know, the whole, the whole vibe of the record. And uh, since we had a song called uh, We Are Apocalypse already, you know, we felt like, you know, the, the word apocalypse is kind of a big word too, so, uh, so that's kind of the connection we, we made, you know, you know, between the music and, and the lyrics, you know. The record, the music deserves a really epic title, and, and uh, We Are Apocalypse, the meaning of that. Such a title is, uh, was, we felt that was the most epic title of the record, so. And we felt that, uh, you know, gave, gave a good identity for this album, I think. And um, how were and how long were the videos for the songs Let the Devil In and Nightfall made? We, we did a lot of uh, pre-planning with production team, obviously. But the, the, the show thing took... Uh, two full days, I mean long days. That, that we, actually, we actually recorded three videos and tomorrow there's a, a third video coming out called uh, Leviathan. So while, while we were in Poland, we, we shot three videos over two very long days. You know, there was a lot of pre-planning, so once we were on location, everything was set up, ready, so we just went in did the shooting and moved on to the next one. Perfect. Um, did you have any bad experience in a concert or tour? I mean, Marduk, in Latin America, they were censored by religious groups and they can't play in several countries here. Have you had to deal with that any time? Yeah, a couple of times. But uh, we were in South America at the same time when more had the, the, the last kind of program, I remember. But, uh, We didn't have that kind of problem at that time. I, I don't know all the details for, for why they had the problem, but, but we had obviously a problem in, in some countries over the years. Okay, okay. And um, what is it like to work with Century Media Records? Uh, it's, uh, it's very good, very easy. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's all about, uh, you know, communication. And, uh, and I think we have a really good communication at the moment and uh, you know ever since the last record and what is your opinion about Ner Nergal do you will any collaboration with him in the aspect musical I mean uh, we never talked about it but uh, I know him since, since many years ago so we talked once in a while and we meet one you know we meet sometimes so but we never talked about uh, you know any collaboration in that sense we, we come from the gen same generation of, of bands you know we've been around for 30 years plus so, in, in this type of and my last question is what advice will you give to a band that is just starting out in the industry oh uh, make sure you know what you're getting into and make sure you're you you know uh, don't take anything for granted make sure uh, be sure you have to work really hard be dedicated be passionate about what you're doing don't let anyone run you over Uh, there's many things, you know, you, you've got to be a strong person if you really want get, to get into this kind of business. Because it's, it's a tough uh, tough lifestyle, but, uh, you know, for me it's like, there's no, nothing else to do, you know, this is who I am and this is what I do. But uh, I know, you know, when I talk to lots of younger bands these days, they, you know, Even, you know, when they talk about during the first tour, they're like, oh, we're going to have this big bus and, and things like that. Uh, all I can say is, if you think you're going to get that, you know, from start, then, then you better you just quit and do something else. I'm glad that, you know, I mean, things have been going pretty well for Dark Funeral already from an early start. But, uh, but I can tell you, I've done my hardcore touring and, and, uh, and stuff. So, so this, this is just not for everybody you, you really have to be uh, dedicated to to get into this 
otherwise just do something else. Perfect, Mikhail. These were all the questions that I have for you today. Thank you very much right. for being here and I hope you had a good time with us. Yeah, man. Thank you. Would you like to say something to the people of Latin America who will be watching this interview later? Check out the new record and uh, I hope we can come back on tour as soon as possible. I know there's talk about it, but there's lots of different restrictions with COVID and stuff. And, you know, it's dif difficult to do a proper tour at this point. Uh, that's what I've been told. But as soon as, uh, you know, all the countries open up, we're going to be back on tour. And I hope to see you there. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lord Diamond. <laughs> I wish You're you all welcome. I wish you all the best and a lot of success in what is to come. Thank you man, I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.